So Celeb Secrets is hanging out with Juliana Tucker today. Very happy to see you because I know it's been a minute since we last chatted. <laughs> Definitely. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, anytime. Um, this is going to be an exciting time for you now because debut EP is coming out. All the hard work is going to be paying off. Yes, finally. I've been waiting a while for this and I took about a little over a year to write it and record it. So now it's finally being released on March 3rd. So I'm super excited about that and just working away on it. Are you like nervous though for people to hear it? I know we've heard a little bit of the songs because um, yeah. they were previously released, but are you nervous for like a whole body of work to be out? I feel like there's always some nerves because you just never really know. But at the same time, it's what I needed to be doing, if that makes sense. Like it was music I wrote for a reason. It's about my life and what I'm going through in this exact moment. So it means something to me. So. At the same time, like, of course, I want a lot of people to hear it and I want it to do really well. But at the same time, I needed to do this for myself. So that kind of gives me comfort knowing that it was meant to happen. And I just have to keep releasing stuff and working on it. And I hope it resonates with people because that's obviously why I do what I do. Oh, for sure. Now it's called The Great Indoors EP. I know you have the title track, The Great Indoors, that is very personal to you. So I want to know what kind of inspired the name, to name it The Great Indoors. Yeah, The Great Indoors, it took a while for my team and I to kind of come up with this concept because I actually had every single song already written and produced on the EP before I wrote The Great Indoors. And it kind of had this overarching story of my life and growing up and learning about myself. And it just felt like something was really missing on the EP. It just didn't feel right with just those five songs. So I was like, I need something to really tie in everything that these other songs mean to me. And that's kind of how The Great Indoors got started. That's how that idea came to be. I actually went into the studio with the song already having, I wrote the song actually in this chair, in this room. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> with the guitar initially. So it was the only track on the EP that I fully wrote in this apartment beforehand and then brought it in, uh, brought my pianist in as well. Her name's Jules Lee. She's super talented. She came in and played the piano for it, turned it into obviously this piano ballad. I tried really hard to, to understand what I wanted to write before I sat down and wrote it so that when I did sit down, it took me no time and I kind of just knocked it out and then went into the studio and I was like, this is it. So it meant a lot to me. It was the only song I've ever written where I actually cried when I heard it, which is like, it felt very interesting and therapeutic for me. That doesn't normally happen. So it means a lot for me. Yeah. And I know it was written like in the height of the pandemic. So all the emotions were really high. And it really, if you listen to the lyrics, it does tell the story of what everyone was pretty much going through during that time. Yeah. And I feel like you kind of found yourself as an artist because I remember seeing what yeah. you were releasing and releasing a few years ago to now. It's completely changed and it's changed for the better. Like you are crushing it. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I even changed my name to my real name. Like yes. all these things were happening where I just didn't feel it felt good, but it didn't feel where I was in life at that moment. So I was like, OK, let me really like hone in on that and accept who I am and accept what kind of artist the world is telling me I need to be kind of thing. Like I felt it from the universe, if that makes sense. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but I was like, I just got to ride with this and create an EP. It's my first ever. I put a lot of work into it and I'm just really, really excited to finally have it out in the world. And how did you choose the songs that are going to be on it? Because you said that you pretty much had everything done before the Great Indoors. So obviously it's been a lot of work in the making. And how did you choose which ones you wanted to put on? It was all about growing up again. So I would, I had this like massive styrofoam board and I was just writing my life story from the start of my music career, like as a, as a young 16 year old where I wrote everything to then having health problems in college where I wasn't able to sing for a long period of time to then going through this pandemic and, and understanding myself. So I wrote out everything. And within that, I selected what made the most sense for me right in that moment. So that's kind of why it has this linear story to it. The entire EP, you know, it starts out with Let Me Let Loose, which is a song about being overwhelmed and stressed out. And you just need one night to let loose, right? And 
I actually wrote that after going through some health things um, in the pandemic. So that was like my let loose moment where I was like, get me out of here. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> right. So it started with that. And that was obviously from that. Then it comes fair warning, which that's the only song that is not out yet. That one is going to have a music video. That one's coming out when the EP comes out. And that's essentially after I let loose and I have that one night out, I then am rebounding with someone after ending a relationship. So I'm emotionally unavailable, but I rebounded with this guy and then felt guilty about it because I'm now then starting to self reflect and understand what person I am and how my actions affect other people's feelings and all of these things. Then it comes bad friends, which is about getting rid of people and things in your life that maybe just don't suit you anymore. And then the great indoors is that epiphany moment where I'm like, aha, uh -huh, like this is all about me. Look within yourself to find the happiness, not everything else. And then the last song, Alone But Not Lonely, which came out on Valentine's Day. And that's about me being alone, but not lonely. So it kind of has this story to it. And yeah, I just went through my entire life from start to finish, essentially, and was able to come up with this concept. Yeah, no, you did a really great job. And I want to talk about Alone But Not Lonely because I listened to the lyrics and like, I'm not seriously dating anybody, but I don't feel lonely. You know? Yes. Oh my God. Amen to that system. <laughs> yes. right? It's like, I don't need some, I don't need hey. someone right now, but you know, you are alone because you're single. Right. And people, I think a lot of times connect those two words together, even though they don't have the same meaning. So I've been single now for three and a half years, almost four years, and I've never been happier. I, I can't explain it. I think back to my last relationship and sometimes I remember being my loneliest in that moment. So that's when I started to realize, okay, those two words don't mean the same thing. They're not the same. So why don't I write a song about it so that other people can hopefully connect with it as well. And that's when I wrote Alone But Not Lonely. And it means a lot to me too, because yeah, I'm also in this boat where I'm genuinely just very happy doing my own thing, maybe a little too comfortable, I don't know, but I live alone, I love being alone. If ever I'm busy with a bunch of people, I need that alone time just to reset. So for me, it doesn't even have to be just because you're single, it could genuinely, like you could be in a relationship, but you also need that alone time as well, just to kind of reset and do your own thing. So that was why I wrote that song and I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad it made sense for you. That makes me happy. <laughs> you know, I'm going to ask, we are celeb secrets. I need to know some secrets when making this record. We did spill a lot, but is there something maybe that people wouldn't know about this project that they'd be surprised to know? Fun fact, I mean, I wrote every single song I was involved in writing every single song. So that's a fun little fact. The other fun fact, which I already said, was the fact that I cried when I heard The Great Indoors. That never happened. <laughs> so I was like, wait, what's going on right now? And um, yeah, every song was written about someone specifically. So that's interesting with like Bad Friends and um, Fair Warning, The Rebound. So it was all written about like someone specifically that is in my life.